When utilizing a variable pattern control remotely, either through our VPC1 or through our DSP software, uh, the microphones are going to have a local variable pattern control. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that to bidirectional and what that's going to do is allow our DSP to take control of the pattern and adjust the pattern uh, downstream or inside the DSP box. On the back of our DSP we're going to utilize two discrete inputs. So using our cable, the 40-360, uh, I go ahead and uh, find the correct pinout and uh, assemble it properly and then go ahead and plug in both channels into my DSP. Okay, so here we have a biamp audio. It also works on the Nexia. But if you take a look here, the audio signal goes in through a series of uh, uh, custom blocks. In biamp, uh, to get the blocks into your system, you can download them from our website right here, and uh, you'll get them in a form of a DSP file. You'll go ahead and copy those blocks out of the DSP file you downloaded, and paste them into the DSP file that you're using for your system. In this middle custom block, if you double click it, you get two faders. Now where these faders are set depends on what polar pattern we get. So if I want to do uh, omnidirectional, I do 0 and minus 40. If I want to do a cardioid, I get to uh, minus 6 and minus 6, or as close as possible. And uh, basically, according to this chart down there on the right, is how I set the polar pattern. So I can do this for pretty much any microphone. Now the neat thing is, is we can put presets in the system. So if I have these presets preset, uh, basically I can click on them. If I click this one, it takes me to figure eight, this one back to cardioid, and this one back to omni. Let's go ahead and take a look at a multiple microphone system here. Again, I've got uh, uh, eight channels here, so I need a 16 channel input um, by amp. But again, as I put all four blocks uh, in between each channel, I've got the ability to change the polar pattern for each channel of uh, audio, which is pretty unique. So again, all the microphones look the same, but uh, on the inside, they're picking up drastically different polar patterns based on how I have them set. In this system here, they're actually running through a smart mixer, and then again through a limiter into an output. So it makes for a pretty concise and unique system. And I think I'm only using Oh, I want to say uh, 30 or 40 percent of the DSP power, which is leaves you a lot of room for EQ and other uh, types of uh, uh, DSP power. One of the unique things about using variable pattern in DSP is you can actually take one microphone and send two polar patterns to two different outputs. So this first output is uh, going through the pattern control, and it's actually a cardioid pattern. Then the next one, we're taking the same microphone, splitting it to the next pattern control, and that one's actually omnidirectional. So I have the ability now to take two polar patterns from one microphone, send them to two different locations. This is unique because you can uh, actually send one microphone to a recording system as well as sound reinforcement. The sound reinforcement will use it as cardioid, allows you more gain before feedback. And then the recording one, you could do it as an omnidirectional, and pick up more ambient sound in the room if you need more of that for your recording.